Almost a year after the Supreme Court ruled states had the power to regulate abortion, today, North Carolina lawmakers set to enact new restrictions on when a pregnancy can be terminated. Live pictures this morning from the state capitol in Raleigh. The House and Senate set to vote to overturn Governor Cooper's veto that would restrict abortion after 12 weeks. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us now. And Richard, Republicans say they have the votes. Yeah, good morning to you, Sarah. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Republicans say they have the vote and they plan to do so this morning in both chambers will uh, have that vote to override Governor Cooper's veto. On the eve of a probable veto override, Governor Roy Cooper called Senate Bill 20 an assault on women's health care. It's absurd to call this legislation a common sense compromise. On Monday, some area business owners raised their voices against the probable implications of a 12-week abortion ban on our local economy, comparing the impact of what happened when HB2, the so-called bathroom bill, passed in 2016. That bill required transgender people to use the public bathrooms that correspond with their biological sex at birth. House Bill 2, it ended up being terrible for our economy and we're still paying for it now. Um, we're not sure what this, what's going to happen after this abortion ban, but we know there will be some impact to businesses, companies that won't move here. The governor hoping at least one moderate Republican chooses to break party lines and vote no to the override. I think we need a state law to, to protect both patients. You know, if, if we truly believe and the science supports that 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 fetal patient, that embryo, is a full living human organism. And uh, supporters, that's what some of the supporters of this abortion bill say. Now, that vote comes down later today. Both of the Senate and, and the legislator will, will vote on this override. Of course, we'll have complete updates of what happens and when it occurs. We're right here in Uptown. Richard Vane. For Wake Up Charlotte. And we know all Republicans got to vote together in order to do that and overturn that veto. All right, Richard, thank you.